let's move away let's move ahead format for calculation of long term capital gain and short term capital gain so let's start computation of long term capital gain how to compute full value of consideration less transfer expense gives net consideration less it is long term capital gain less index cost of acquisition less index cost of improvement gives you gross long term capital gain short forms for this foc transfer expense will transfer expense i c o a i c o a index cost of acquisition index cost of improvement gives you gross long term capital gain x x x x less you get this again less index cost of acquisition less index cost of improvement you will get finally gross long term capital gain so what is this index cost of acquisition i'll teach you wait let me complete the other format of computation of short term capital gain same full value of consideration foc less transfer expenses gives you net consideration less cost of acquisition less index no 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 index over here cost of improvement coa coi gives you gross long term sorry sorry sh gross short term capital gain g s t g c gross short term capital gain just give me a moment i'll explain you one nice concept what is the difference between this two computation computation in long in computation of long term capital gain there is index cost of acquisition and index cost of improvement while in the computation of short term capital gain there is only cost of acquisition and cost of improvement you remember i did a mistake over here. it's a purpose mistake i want you all also to write in your book in the same manner then you will remember that in short term capital gain you don't need to calculate index cost of acquisition what does index cost of acquisition mean index cost of acquisition means uh please pause the video and copy it down fast i hope you have copied down now i'll teach you the what is index cost of acquisition means index cost of acquisition what does index cost of acquisition means you have a property of rupees 10 lakhs purchased in the year 2010 you you are selling the property 
in 2016 for rupees for rupees 25 lakhs are you getting me what i am telling now you have a property of rupees 10 lakh purchase in the year 2010 you are selling the property in 2016 for 2000 for 25 lakhs now the very first thing you will determine is the period of holding is the period of holding more than 3 years yes the period of holding is more than 3 years so it is long term capital asset firstly so long term capital gain will be calculated on this so let's start fvoc what is fvoc fvoc is the fair value of consideration this is the fair value of consideration that we will get therefore 25 lakhs is there any transfer expenses given transfer expenses uh, i have not given any transfer expenses but let's assume transfer expenses rupees 1 lakh transfer expenses what does transfer expenses mean transfer expenses i am giving i will give you in writing what does all this fvoc transfer expenses index cost of acquisition cost of acquisition means but right now for understanding this example listen transfer expenses means expenses of like noc charges by the society and stamp duty charges and all less 1 lakh you will get you will get net consideration of rupees 24 lakhs in lakhs 24 lakhs then you have to this is long term capital gain the asset is long term capital asset so index cost of acquisition will come and less index cost of improvement will come since the index cost of improvement is not given improvement means what that also i'll explain you but now for the time being understand what is index cost of acquisition mean the acquisition rate and uh, then then we'll get gross long term capital gain now we'll calculate index cost of acquisition what does index cost of acquisition means index cost of acquisition what does acquisition mean acquisition means the rate at which the asset was acquired the asset was acquired at the rate of rupees 10 lakhs are you getting this what does index cost of acquisition does index cost of acquisition does is the rate of this asset in 2010 was 10 lakhs but in 2016 the selling price is 25 lakhs but at the at if such asset would have purchased in 2016 what would have been the rate so there is an index rate given so we'll calculate wait let me get my calculator See, I have got my calculator. Always the index cost of acquisition. How to calculate the index cost of acquisition? The asset, the rate of the asset when acquired was rupees ten lakh. It will be multiplied by the index rate. Index rate of current year divided by index rate of the date of acquisition okay so 10 lakhs into for the for our financial year if i exam the index rate for current year is 1081 i am assuming the index rate of uh, acquisition is say 800 rupees so now after calculating 10 lakhs 10 lakhs into 1081 divided by 800 we get the value is 1351250 we get this value 1351250 what is this this is the index cost rate that if such asset would have purchased in 2016 the rate would have been this but 
द मार्केट इट इज नॉट द मार्केट रेट इट इज द इंडेक्स रेट इट इज द इंडेक्स रेट इट विल बी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो सच रेट हैज टू बी सब्सटीट्यूटेड ओवर यर आई विल राइट इन द फुल वैल्यू नाउ ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक इंडेक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन इज थर्टी वन फाइव वन टू फाइव जीरो इंडेक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन ऑफ इंडेक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट इज नील विल गेट वन जीरो फोर एट सेवन थ्री फाइव जीरो दिस इज द कैपिटल गेन ऑन बाय द एस एस सी हु सेल द प्रॉपर्टी Are you getting me how to calculate this? I'll give you another example of in cost of acquisition. Same example will calculate will calculate short term capital gain. What is the FVOC? The FVOC is twenty five lakhs. What is the transfer expenses? One lakh, and the net consideration is twenty four lakhs. Less what is it is not index cost of acquisition. It is cost of acquisition less cost of improvement will get. gross short term capital gain in the cost of acquisition what is the cost of acquisition the cost of acquisition is this 10 lakhs what does index cost of acquisition does it multiplies with the index of the current year divided by the index of the year in which the asset was purchased so cost of acquisition will be 10 lakhs i'm um, sorry then 14 lakhs the cap the gross short term capital gain is 14 lakhs if it is hold for period less than 3 years i i advise you don't copy the, all this it's just a process of explaining your see the sh- gross short term capital gain is 14 lakhs you have to pay short no, income income tax of short term short term capital gain on 14 lakhs but on long term capital gain you have to pay tax on 10 lakhs 48750 and not on 14 lakhs such indexation is a facility it is an exemption given to the ssc who has who who has hold the asset for a period of more than uh, for a more than pe- period of 3 years such uh, this ssc has not hold the pe- hold the asset for a period of more than 3 years therefore what the index cost of acquisition will not be allowed to him and the cost of acquisition will be allowed cost of acquisition means what uh you have already purchased the asset and now you are selling it at the time of purchasing you have already paid some a uh, sum of amount now at the time of selling you have to m- subtract that sum of amount you have to not pay tax on the on the price that you have purchased the asset so that is cost of acquisition that benefit is given uh in the uh, the government of india is not asking you to pay on the total the total the total amount that you have received after selling the asset say rupees 25 like they are giving you cost of acquisition as a uh, exemption it is a part it is a, it is as good as exemption index cost is given only when the asset is a long term capital asset and cost of acquisition if the asset is not a capital asset i hope you have understood this concept